In holography, the light from a laser beam is split into two beams, a reference beam and an object beam. Light from the object beam reflects off an object and is recombined with the reference beam to form images on film that can be used to create three-dimensional images. Part A. Write an absolute value function that represents the path of the reference beam. The vertex of the path of the reference beam is 5, 6. So the function has the form g of x equals a times the absolute value of the quantity x minus 5 plus 6. Substitute the coordinates of the point 1, 0 into the equation and solve for a. The absolute value of the quantity 1 minus 5 is 4. So you have 0 equals a times 4 plus 6. Solving for a, you get negative 1 and 5 tenths equals a. So the function g of x equals negative 1 and 5 tenths times the absolute value of the quantity x minus 5 plus 6 represents the path of the reference beam. Part b. Write the function in part a as a piecewise function. The function in part a is g of x equals negative 1 and 5 tenths times the negative of the quantity x minus 5 plus 6 if x minus 5 is less than 0, and g of x equals negative 1 and 5 tenths times the quantity x minus 5 plus 6 if x minus 5 is greater than or equal to 0. First simplify g of x equals negative 1 and 5 tenths times the negative of the quantity x minus 5 plus 6 if x minus 5 is less than 0. Distributing the negative through the quantity x minus 5, you get negative 1 and 5 tenths times the quantity negative x plus 5 plus 6. Distributing the negative 1 and 5 tenths through the quantity negative x plus 5, you get 1 and 5 tenths x minus 7 and 5 tenths plus 6. Then combining like terms, you are left with 1 and 5 tenths x minus 1 and 5 tenths. The inequality x minus 5 is less than 0 simplifies to x is less than 5. So you have g of x equals 1 and 5 tenths x minus 1 and 5 tenths if x is less than 5. Now simplify g of x equals negative 1 and 5 tenths times the quantity x minus 5 plus 6 if x minus 5 is greater than or equal to 0. Distributing the negative 1 and 5 tenths through the quantity x minus 5, you get negative 1 and 5 tenths x plus 7 and 5 tenths plus 6. Then combining like terms, you get negative 1 and 5 tenths x plus 13 and 5 tenths. The inequality x minus 5 is greater than or equal to 0 simplifies to x is greater than or equal to 5. So you have g of x equals negative 1 and 5 tenths x plus 13 and 5 tenths if x is greater than or equal to 5. So a piecewise function for g of x equals negative 1 and 5 tenths times the absolute value of the quantity x minus 5 plus 6 is g of x equals 1 and 5 tenths x minus 1 and 5 tenths if x is less than 5 and g of x equals negative 1 and 5 tenths x plus 13 and 5 tenths if x is greater than or equal to 5.